All right, here, guys, tell me what this looks like. Hold up. <laughs> Open fire. Friendly's coming out the hall. Alright, clear. Going downstairs. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Big Fry. Shout out to the subscribers, guys. Today, I want to talk to you guys about Ground Branch. Guys, I got the Instagram messages. I got the Facebook. I got the emails. I got, I got the messages. Ground Branch is something you guys wanted me to cover and talk about. I've been following this game personally for a few years now. I backed it originally when they had like an alpha test on their website years ago. Uh, I was actually never able to play the game. It always was like bug out every time I'd connect to a server. Uh, but now uh, you guys are looking at gameplay here from their early access build. It's being made by the guys at Blackfoot Studios. I can't really do uh, like a first first impressions because I have played the, the test like offline map and stuff. And I have been following and actively following the development for years now. So what this game is, is it's developed by one of the uh, original Rainbow Six and Ghost Recon developers. One of one of those guys is on this team at Blackfoot, and they're creating a very tactical, Ghost Recon-esque, slow-paced, methodical shooter. And the gameplay you're looking at here, I got in a server, I got my weapon equipped, we got the inventory, and I went in and we were doing a terrorist hunt type of mode where you basically just got to clear out the map. Very similar to to the old Ghost Recons that I used to play back on PC in like 2001 and 2002. And with that old school nostalgic type of tactical gameplay that I grew up with, you definitely start to see that there are some issues in terms of the controls and how your character handles on the battlefield. The game is pretty clunky, I will say that. If you're going in expecting some very fluid controls similar to something like Escape from Tarkov, which is something that I feel people don't really talk about enough with EFT is their intuitive control system, controlling your speed movement on the mouse wheel and controlling the crouch and stuff. That is what I expect out of a tactical shooter in 2018 on PC. When you have all of these controls at your disposal with ground branch, it's very strange. If you want to crouch, you hit C and naturally in, in FPS games, you would hit that same button again to cancel the crouch. So it's basically like a toggle on whatever control you want. This one, you hit C to crouch, you hit space to stand up. And instead of having your gun on the, on the forward, like ready and sighted on your shoulder, you have to hold control to keep it up or you can change it with your mouse scroll so there's three different settings you can have it like high ready uh low ready and then down like basically in front of you um the controls are clunky the movement is very clunky but this is an early access game and i feel like there is a lot of room for improvement i really think they should take a look at escape from tarkov's control scheme and try to do something similar to it if not mimic it completely because i feel like in terms of tactical shooters they have that control system completely perfect what I do like about Ground Branch is the insane amounts of customization. You guys can see here, you can basically put a whole bunch of attachments, sights, foregrips, all this stuff onto your weapons, and you can do really anything that the, the gun actually limits you to. So here, I just decided to put two sights on my weapon, just, just, just to see if it'll work, and it does work. It's not useful at all, but it does work. You can do a whole bunch of different customization when you start up the server and you go into it. You have your own little locker with your name attached to it, and you go and you customize your soldier from there. Um, there are issues. I really feel like the game needs to default a skin to you because there's guys running around with like no legs because they didn't choose an outfit there needs to be like a default character model so that it just doesn't look so silly when people are running around and who knows maybe they didn't choose the pants and forgot about it and now the guy's running around with no legs which makes him incredibly difficult to see now this game does feature 
cooperative and multiplayer PvP environments. Uh, this is like my first kind of foray into the online aspect. Like I said, I've owned it for years and I always got errors when I try to go online. So there's a lot of stuff to digest here. The game is currently sitting, like I said, at $22.79 Canadian, which I believe works out to $20 American. So for $20, you get a work in progress tactical shooter on PC from the guys who pioneered, or at least one of the guys who pioneered tactical shooters in the first place with Ghost Recon and Rainbow Six. The customization is insane. The map design, I mean, the game doesn't graphically look, you know, any anything special, but obviously gameplay trumps all. And I actually had a really good time running through. The voice chat works fine. The guys I was playing with were hilarious. And I had a good time. And I think that I'm going to be bringing more ground branch gameplay to the channel. Uh, just running different missions and maybe doing some PvP stuff for you guys. Because I, I think that that really suits the channel. It's that tactical, methodical gameplay that I really enjoy. And I'm actually pretty impressed. What I was worried about when these guys said they were going to Steam, was that they were going to price this game out of the fucking water. I assumed that they were going to come out and this game was going to be priced at $29.99 or $34.99. And I'm glad to say that they, they definitely did it right by pricing it at $20. But, Blackfoot, if you guys are watching, here is a tip. When you launch games on Steam, make sure you launch it with a 10% discount. So that while you're on Steam, you can end up in more areas. So if people go to the sales tab and they're looking for games on sale, there you are. Brand new tactical shooter coming into early access and you are on that tab. You just get more eyes that way when you have the 10% discount and you end up in more areas on Steam. You guys didn't do that. I'm scared that that might hurt your sales a little bit. But I definitely do want to get some eyes on this because this is right up my alley. This is tactical shooter gameplay at its finest, which is definitely inspired by some of the greatest tactical shooter games that I have ever played. It's really surreal to think about this, uh, talking about Ghost Recon. I remember when I was six, seven years old, sitting next to my dad who was playing on PC back before I really even knew what PC was, playing Ghost Recon. I'm watching him. He's got his own little computer room area. He's smoking like chain smoke, and the room is just filled with smoke. And I'm just watching him play Ghost Recon cooperative missions over the internet with a friend who lived, you know, three hours away. And they were talking over the headset. And now I'm sitting here talking about, like, I, I would say almost a spiritual successor to that, or at least the next iteration of that style of gameplay. It's really surreal to think about. And now we're here. If you guys have $20 to spare and you see the game and you see like it, it, maybe it's something you guys would enjoy, I would suggest picking it up. There's not a lot of tactical shooters that are out there right now doing this stuff. The controls need some work. The, the gameplay itself needs some work. The, the character models kind of glitch out sometimes in the movement. But I will say the core gameplay, clearing of buildings, shooting, the gun the gunplay does feel pretty solid. There's no hit reg issues. There's it, it, It's a pretty simple concept, but I really enjoy it. If you guys want to check out more, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're shooting for 100,000 this year. I am going to be bringing ground branch gameplay, both cooperative and and pvp so if you guys see those make sure you like them when they pop up from time to time i appreciate you guys watching the video go check out ground branch even if you don't want to pick it up today you want to see how the development goes go to, over to their steam page i'm going to link that in the top pinned comment down below thank you guys for watching my name is big fry and i'll see you on the next one